Hi there, if you're a DaVinci Resolve editor and you want to get sound effects or music into your timeline, but you don't want to have to go out to a web browser, download an audio file, import it into Resolve, check out if the music fits the vibe of the edit, and if it doesn't repeat that whole process over again, well, there's a much easier way to do it. I'm going to show you in this video how to use the Epidemic Sound DaVinci Resolve plugin to make finding music and sound effects so much easier easier. I've been an Epidemic Sound user for over five years and I've used them since my very first YouTube video on this channel. So I'm going to show you how to install the plugin and then how to use it to really quickly and easily find music and sound effects. So you need to head over to epidemicsound.com and you need to come down here and download this plugin for either Mac OS or Windows. And this is going to download the Epidemic Sound Hub and this is the installer for the Epidemic Sound Hub. Let's go and run that installer and then click finish and it's automatically going to run the Epidemic Sound Hub. And you can think of this Epidemic Sound Hub as a central location to manage your Epidemic Sound plugins. You can see down the bottom here, the Epidemic Sound Hub has popped up. It's telling us that the DaVinci Resolve Studio plugin is available and we'll go and install that. This is going to perform the actual installation of the plugin. So the next time we open Resolve, we should be able to use it. If you've got Resolve open, I'd highly suggest you close it before installing. Okay, let's go and open up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you this plugin in action. Just while we're waiting for DaVinci Resolve to load, if you want a free trial of Epidemic Sound, check out the first link in this video's description. So we'll just go and open up one of these edits that I've been working on. And to open up the plugin, come up to the workspace menu, come down to workflow integrations, and you should see the Epidemic Sound plugin here. Click on that to open it. And then you need to log in with your Epidemic Sound details. So you can use my link in the video description if you just want to try this out without committing to paying for Epidemic Sound. Once you've signed up for the free trial, you'll get your login details. So I'm just going to log in with my existing details and we'll head back to DaVinci Resolve. So at the top here, we've got music and sound effects. And we've also got this saved tab where you can save tracks in your own playlists if they're things that you like or if they're things that you want to come back to for future projects. Let's say for this video, we want something synth based so we'll just go and search for let's say synth wave and now to preview one of these music tracks just click once you find one that you like you can download it by clicking this button or if you click on these ellipses you can just choose append to current timeline and it will download the audio and then it will automatically append it to your DaVinci Resolve timeline that you've got open and depending on how you've got things set up in DaVinci Resolve on your timeline it's going to append it differently so you can see here that it's appended this new music track to the end of audio one and if it's not in the right place you can just drag it to wherever you want and now we've got transmitter by Bluetooth and when it's the music track straight into DaVinci Resolve so you can see how quick and easy that was we didn't even have to go out to a web browser let's just delete that and there's loads of other features that you can take advantage here of here you can see these bars underneath the song and these allow you to select just a segment of that song if that's what you want So if I right click on one of these bars and choose a pen to current timeline, you can see we've now got just that section of the song appended. Just delete that. And I'm also going to enable targeting for this. And let's say we want this segment instead. We'll just right click, choose a pen to current timeline. And now it's appending at the start of this selected music track. You can, of course, just drag these things straight down onto the timeline wherever you want to insert them. And let's say we want this section here. We're going to right click, we're going to choose create version using segment. And this is a really cool feature which allows you to customize just parts of a track. Let's choose a preferred length, let's say 15 seconds. We'll enable make loopable and then we'll choose create new version. Or if you want a longer version, let's say 60 seconds, click create new version. And now it's going to loop that section over and over again for 60 seconds. So this might be great if you're doing something like reels. And these little squiggly lines show you the loop point. So let's go and download that. And once it's downloaded, we can drag it onto our timeline. 
And now I've got that segment looped over and over again. Another really awesome feature. Let's just go and find another track. And let's say for this one, we really like part of the melody, but we don't want the rest of it. I'm gonna click these three dots, and then I'm gonna choose Show Stems. Stems are the individual components that make up that song, and we can audition each of these different stems. There's the bass component, instruments, melody, and drums. So say for this example, we just wanted this melody. I'm gonna download that stem just for the melody. And once it's downloaded, just drag that onto our timeline. And this is a way to get a nice little bed behind a talking head video, for example. Power button until the light comes on. And if you've used this transmitter with a receiver and it's connected, this might be green, but you need to switch this into Bluetooth pairing mode. Another use for these stems is that you can download each stem to a separate audio track in DaVinci Resolve, and then you can mix together the different elements of the song to better suit your video. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. If you find a track, let's just say this one, and you like the vibe of it, but it's not quite right, click on these, and choose Find Similar. And now we get a list of tracks that Epidemic Sound think have a similar vibe to the first track we chose. Another really cool feature is that you can get Epidemic Sound to try and suggest music based on the current frame in your video. Let's start off by selecting a frame and we'll choose search by video, find music matching the current frame in the timeline. So here's the frame in the timeline, and now Epidemic Sound will try and select music that matches that frame. So depending on the selected frame that you've got in your timeline, you'll get different results for these suggested videos. And the sound effects work in a very similar way. You can search for a specific effect or use one of these popular categories. Let's just go for cartoon for a laugh. And you can audition these by clicking on them. And when you find one you like, just download it and then drag it onto your timeline. So this plugin has made it so much easier for me when I'm editing videos to find the music and the sound effects that I need. I highly recommend you grab a free trial and then download this plugin and check it out to see what you think. I'm Jason Roberts, check out this video next. I think it'll be really useful for you and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.